So finally Android 14 based custom homes are coming right now and one of them is Project Zephyrus. I made a video already on this custom home some time ago because that was the first look but that custom home did not include any customizations and the most important thing lock screen customizations were not available. But with this new update which I installed on my Mi 11X and if it is available for your device or if your device has unofficial support for this custom home you should definitely check it out. This custom home brings you all the features you need and all the features what you were looking forward to in android 14 based custom homes right now not all the features are included but still some good features are already available we will go through all of those features in this video so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end this is android 14 based custom home we're talking about project zephyrus and let's just get straight to the major things the major change is the first one is the most awaited lock screen customizations which means all the lock screen clocks are already been introduced. If you move on to the wallpapers and style lock screen customizations, you will notice the new lock screen clocks which were introduced by Google with the latest Android 14 update are already present here. You can customize the color, you can customize the size, whatever you want to do, you can do that very easily. This kind of UI was introduced in some other custom rooms already with Android 13, but unfortunately the clocks were not present there. But yes, that is why Android 14 is here. You can customize the colors, clock styles and a lot more things. And yes, this is one of the main highlights of Android 14 based custom rooms. And I think so a lot of other custom rooms will also bring you this feature as soon as the update will come. Secondly, if we move on to the wallpapers and style options and click on more wallpapers, emoji wallpapers are available. I know in some of the custom homes based on Android 13, emoji wallpapers were already available. But that was optional and not every custom home was able to provide you. But this time, this feature will be available for most in most of the custom homes. You will definitely notice this feature. If, if you want to try out emoji wallpapers or if you did not try out emoji wallpapers yet on a device, you should check it out. One of the features which is quite impressive is the cloned apps option in the app section. Although it's not working, I'm not exactly sure though. Ignore Windows Secure Flags is already present. This should be included because this is one of the major features available in a custom room. Cloned apps option is present in this app section what I found, but unfortunately, it's not working. I tried installing WhatsApp, I tried installing Plus Messenger, but because this feature is not working, so I don't think so, I need to talk much about this feature. If you move on to the other options which are present in this project Zephyrus custom home, in sound and vibration section, you will notice tap and click sounds, which is a new kind of thing, basically same thing, but renamed option available in sound and vibration options. And in vibration and haptics, you will see system slider option available. So if you enable this option, you will get the haptic feedback when changing the slider value. In display options, you have the option to customize the brightness slider position, which you can do that very easily. Or also, you have the option to see the brightness slider always. For example, if I enable this, if I see this quick, quick settings panel, I'll be able to customize the brightness slider. And also, I will be able to change the position for that. Double tap on the lock screen to sleep and options related to icons, the status bar icons, which you can enable or disable very easily. Including this one, secure quick setting tiles option is also present. Almost every useful feature what you were looking forward to is already present in this custom room. So that is one of the advantages. Another thing is in the security and privacy option because the UI kind of the same UI available in Android 14 stock Android. But you will be able to notice allow application downgrade. This feature is so impressive. This option will simply allow you to downgrade the applications. Although yes, as you can see, this may lead to crashes and data corruption, but yes, you can check it out if you want to. In gestures, swipe to screenshot, lift to check phone, navigation mode, etc. already present here. Immersive navigation option is also present. It's already available there, but I'm not exactly sure because in my case, it is not working at all. As you can see, if I enable this option, then the feature is just not working because if I see this, as you can see, space is still there. So maybe it's not working. But other than else, things are basically same. You can customize the things if you want to. All the things I just wanted to let you know, I have already shared with you. If you want to try it out, this custom home and if it is available for your device, link is already available in the description. Make sure to check out that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.